too now. You can taste authentic and fusion Korean dishes prepared by popular local restaurants at next weekend's 7th annual Taste of Korea event. Chris Latronic joins us live with a little sneak peek. Chris, what you got for us? Oh, we got some good Korean food coming up. Uh, we do have a little bit of chicken, but we'll save that for later. But it's all about the taste of Korea that's happening uh, yeah, next week, Friday. So you want to get your tickets because those are, are selling pretty fast. And it's been a while since uh, we've had the Korean festival. It actually went offline since COVID. But to tell us more is the president of the Hoi Korean Cultural Center. This is Amanda Chang. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. So Good morning. it's been a while. Tell me about the taste of Korea and how we're back this year. Yes. You know, 2014 is when we first had a first Taste of Korea, which is a food tasting event, but also at the same time is a fundraiser to build a Korean cultural center in Hawaii. And we had it until 2019. That was our sixth. And then we had a COVID. So we didn't do it for three years. We're back. Yes. Next week, November 10th, 6 o'clock at Honolulu Country Club okay. in awesome. Salt Lake. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So where can we get tickets? and? Um uh, yeah, where's all that? Uh, you can either contact me. Um, my phone number is 808-535-8460 or go to online, which is www.hawaiikcc.org. So Hawaii, you have to spell it out. Mm -hmm. KCC is a Korean cultural center dot org. You click 2023 Taste of Korea, you can get tickets. Yes. right then and there yes and that's awesome this all goes to support the building of the korean cultural center which we have but it's kind of in not its own building right so tell me about the need that we need yes you know um korea shares about 120 years of history in hawaii koreans first arrived on the shore of hawaii in 1903 so it's exactly 120 years ago january we arrived here well the ancestors mm -hmm. arrived here to work at the sugar uh, plantation and since then, you know, Koreans have lived here for more than a century. Mm -hmm. However, we don't have a cultural center to share, you know, Korean culture, food, history, language, instead of in K-pops and whatnot. Yes. So we want to build a cultural center. We did purchase a building in Kali Valley. However, we owe a lot of money as a mortgage to the bank, so we cannot really fully use it. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a fundraiser to raise funds to actually own a building, to open up to the public, to the local people, to learn about Korea more as they enjoy Korean culture as it is. Yes, and that sounds great. And it's kind of shocking that we don't have one after 120 years. But know. Uh, we know Koreans, uh, K Korean culture has been a part of us, especially in the food. And we're going to have lots of Taste of Korea happening during this yes. festival. What do we have here in front of us? Okay, right now we're going to have a more than a dozen um, restaurants participating. And it's not just Korean restaurants. We're at Hangang Korean Grill House, but mm -hmm. we have local restaurants like MW, The Pig and the Lady, K Mex Hawaii, which is like Mexican food, and also fusion Korean like Okim's Contemporary Kitchen, oh, yeah, and right. other Korean like authentic restaurants as well. Today, I am showcasing a couple. One is from Onokai a Restaurant, right in downtown on Executive Center on Bishop Street. Mm -hmm. um, people may remember this as an old, long, you know, uh, building. Anyway, they do have a restaurant here, and this is a sweet and little tangy, crispy chicken mm -hmm. that has a, a flavor that is so good. And we're going to have, like, drinks imported from Korea provided by Koha Foods and we're also going to have other authentic Koreans like ADA supermarket is doing and then old food and kimchi love Hawaii is participating especially because this year is the first year we're going to have a kimchi day in Ooh. November so this year taste of Korea the theme is kimchi and we're doing a, a kimchi themed uh, and Honolulu Country Club, the venue, also uh, provides this um, food as well. That's amazing. And uh, about the food, I'm going to try this chicken. But yes, the Taste of Korea, make sure you get your tickets now before they're all sold out. So without further ado, this is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii, grinding for Hawaii, sending things back to you. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so jealous. Mm. Oh, wow. How crispy, Chris? How is it? That's from Absolutely Onokai. delicious. Very onokai. Come have the <laughs> That suits the name of the restaurant, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Looks so good. My oh, mouth no. is watering exactly. just looking at I can at barely that. talk right now. <laughs> uh, What's your favorite Korean dish, Christine? We're talking. Okay. I know it's not really Korean, but of course we all like Mijun, right? Course, That's more yeah, like a Hawaii delicious. thing, but I like yeah. Sundubu too. Oh, on a yes. very cold day. How about you? Yes. 
Uh, I love kalbi. I love bibimbap. Mm -hmm. uh, but making it at home, if you make some bulgogi and then put it in like a lettuce wrap with some gochujang right. sauce and rice, oh, that's, that's a, a quick little mm -hmm. dinner that I just love. Or on a piece of nori with rice. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's stop talking about that. <laughs>